Bình Thúy xin kính chào quý vị. Hôm nay thứ Ba, 28 tháng 2, 2017. Đến với chương trình Good Morning Washington DC sáng nay, Minh Thúy xin kính mời quý vị theo dõi buổi phỏng vấn đặc biệt chuẩn tướng Châu Lập Thế do Destiny thực hiện. Để mở đầu, Minh Thúy xin kính mời quý vị theo dõi phần 1 của cuộc phỏng vấn. Destiny xin kính chào quý vị. Đến với chương trình Good Morning Washington DC hôm nay, chúng tôi có dịp tiếp xúc với chuẩn tướng Châu Lập Thế. Kính mời quý vị theo dõi cuộc tiếp xúc của chúng tôi. Kính chào trưởng tướng Châu Lập Thế. Kính chào cô. Quý vị chắc là ngạc nhiên khi Destiny um, nói rằng là trưởng tướng Châu Lập Thế. Tại vì hồi nào giờ chúng ta đã nói sai tên thật của trưởng tướng Châu Lập Thế là Châu Lập Thế chứ không phải là Thể như chúng ta đã từng thấy trên những bài viết hay những cuộc phỏng vấn trước đây. Có phải không trưởng tướng? Có phải, có phải. <cười> That's okay. No problem. Vậy là bây giờ là phải gọi là từ nay là Châu Lập Thế. Châu Lập Thế. <laughs> so how are you? I am doing very well. Thank you very much. Good to see you. What made you come to Washington DC today? Well, today we have an um, a dinner from the uh, uh, the the VA USA where we all the senior leaders gather uh, together to uh, to uh, to meet all the new cadets and the midshipmen from uh, the, the various uh, military academies. Uh, the purpose, one of our mission from the VA USA is to mentor. So give us the opportunity to uh, mingle and, and talk to our cadets and, and uh, to, to, uh, to give them some advice on, on what they can do better uh, as, as they move forward in their career. Since you go in to talk to the cadet and give them some advice, mm -hmm. can you share with us what you're going to talk to them and what advice that you can give it to them? Sure. Uh, to, tonight, what I'm going to tell them is that one of the most important things that I have learned for the past 30 years in uniform is really come down to one thing. It's character. Right? As, uh, everything that a person do or fail to do reflect him or herself. Who you want to be, who you want to become, your character is very, very important. Now, sometimes the character, the words is pretty fancy, pretty big, but if you break it down, it's about honor, it's about integrity, it's about hard work, uh, it's about empathy, uh, thing that you do to reflect good in your own character. So, so that's what I'm, I, I will uh, share that uh, Uh, with all the cadets and uh, midshipmen uh, tonight uh, too. So uh, be because that is very uh, important because at the end of the day, we can teach them tactics and we can teach them all the technical thing. But the most important thing that I think is a character. So, so we're talking about characters. Mm -hmm. Any characters is your ideal that you can follow to? Well, I would say one of the most important thing is um, humility. It doesn't matter how far you go in life. Uh, you can be a big shot general, but you still a father, a husband, a friend, a brother and sister to someone. So always remember where you came from. Okay, so, so that will ground you so you know you do not uh, uh, kind of go overboard. And, and uh, I think the humility really can help carry you, also provide you the empathy. The, the, uh, the area where you can relate to all the person uh, rather than make quick judgment, if you will, uh, and uh, criticize somebody before you even you know, know what happened uh, behind the scene, if you will. So I think uh, humility is a very, very uh, key attribute of the whole total character. Any special um, person or the name of person that, that you want to share with us? Yeah, I, you know, from, from, from the, uh, when I was young, I uh, know very little about many of our uh, South Vietnamese generals from Vietnam. As I moved to the United States, I learned of a very, uh, I would say, famous, inspiring uh, general. I think his name is uh, Ngô Quang Trưởng. Uh, Trung Tướng Ngô Quang Trưởng, I think he, to me, he's one of the model that I would love to emulate. What I mean by that is uh, he was one of the best field commander, brilliant field commander. But beyond that, the most area that I admire him uh, is his integrity. His integrity, his humility, his down-to-earth uh, type of, uh, of 
general, which is uh, very difficult to find, you know. So I think that carry to me carry a a, a, a very deep and, and, and uh, deep meaning. Something that I would like to strive to be, you know. So I'm not surprised that our young um, generation will look back to our history back then in like Vietnam Cộng Hòa, mm -hmm. um, and um, for me too, I learned a lot that why I came here, not in Vietnam. But um, can you share that since you know about Vietnam Cộng Hòa and did you know anything about the April 30 and, and how old were you at that time? Yes, I remember April 30 very well. I remember actually back to third very well, third 1968 very well because I had to evacuate from the house, from, from, from my home because my backyard surrounding the whole area was on fire. So we had to evacuate. So I remember all the way back to 1968, third, uh, very Mao well, Tung very yes. well. Uh, April 30th, just like happened, just like yesterday, uh, to uh, to all of us. Uh, definitely a, a sad and, and tragic day for all of us. I remember the tremendous amount of uh, sadness and the chaotic that uh, that morning. Uh, watch folks just run all over the place. It, it was. Uh, a devastating day, but one thing I think that stayed with me for the rest of my life on 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 that day was um, the um, the communists capture many of our South Vietnamese soldiers and they parade them uh, on the way from the battlefield all the way back to Saigon. They just walk right in front of my house, and it was very sad. It was very sad. I think I saw perhaps hundreds and thousands of our soldiers got kind of captured and marched back uh, from all the way back in, in the, the rice paddy um, and then all the way back into Saigon. It was a pretty, pretty devastating scene for us. So, so that kind of a pretty sad memory. We know that when we was a kid, anything happened like that, we're going to never forget. Oh, yes, yes, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And does that make you have a motivator to escape the country? Um, that, but I think what really drive one of the reasons um, that I escaped from Vietnam was the life back in the 1976, 75, 78 was miserable. It was a living hell, really. Um, it, you, you just cannot describe the feeling unless you really, you've been there, you lived through it. You try to explain it to people, that they, they just don't get it, you know. So, uh, no hope. Uh, you live in such a humiliated kind of uh, environment. Um, you cannot breathe, you know, because you, you, you feel like somebody choked your neck every day, you know, and, and hung, hungry all, all the time. Uh, so lack of freedom, it just, um, you, you, you have no dignity. It really come down to that. So everybody, not, uh, not just Lapte, everybody really tried to find a way out. And, uh, and I just very, very lucky that my sister uh, escaped and she happened to have two empty you know, uh, slot, if you will. And, and my brother and I, we kind of uh, uh, jumped in and, and, and escaped with her. So you escaped by boat? By boat. Both uh, people. We, we, uh, we escaped back in May of 1979 and we landed in Indonesia after five days uh, uh, flowing around uh, South China Sea and we landed in Indonesia in, uh, after five days later and stayed in three separate refugee camps. The reason people say why three, uh, three refugee camps? The first refugee camp when we got in, we stayed there for a while to the point like people all left. <laughs> we want to come to America because the word America is a synonym to freedom, right? So all of us willing to wait and come to America. So the whole camp was empty, only about three or four family left. So they have to close down that camp and move us to the next camp. So we stay the same thing. We stay at the next camp to the point like the, the next camp also closed down and they move us to Galang at the very, very end. That's how we uh, kind of stay in the refugee camp for about 12 months. Well, 11 months and 28 days to be exact. So. Kính thưa quý vị, chương trình đến đây xin được tạm ngưng trong giây lát. Kính mời quý vị theo dõi phần 2 sau phần thông báo và quảng cáo. Thông báo, Hội nhiếp ảnh Việt Nam vùng Hoa Thịnh Đốn xin trân trọng thông báo khóa học nhiếp ảnh cho niên khóa 2017 
sẽ khai giảng vào Chủ nhật ngày 5 tháng 3 năm 2017, lúc 12 giờ trưa tại Wilson Center Basement Level 6131 Wilson Drive, Falls Church, Virginia 22044. Khóa học nhiếp ảnh dành cho mọi thành viên trong cộng đồng Việt Nam vùng Hoa Thịnh Đốn và Phù Cận, gồm 3 lớp sẽ trang bị cho học viên kiến thức cơ bản trong nhiếp ảnh, cách sử dụng máy và kỹ thuật chụp ảnh. Chương trình học bắt đầu từ tháng 3 đến cuối tháng 9 và mỗi chủ nhật từ 12 giờ trưa đến 3 giờ 30 chiều tại trung tâm Wilson Falls Church, Virginia. Lớp 1, căn bản. Lớp 2, chuyên nghiệp. Lớp 3, sáng tác nghệ thuật và kỹ thuật Photoshop. Ghi danh xin email về info at vnps.net. Mọi thắc mắc xin liên lạc với Vân Hồ, tổng thư ký. Email vân.hồ at vnps.net hoặc gọi số cell phone 703 303 5650. Hội nhiếp ảnh sẽ tham dự chợ Tết Hội Cao Niên năm 2017. Xin mời quý vị ghé qua để tìm hiểu. Trung tâm WeCare chăm sóc sức khỏe tại gia của người Việt phục vụ người Việt. Yes, WeCare chăm sóc sức khỏe tại gia cho quý vị cao niên có Medicare, Medicaid, chăm sóc người bị bệnh đi lại khó khăn hay khuyết tật. Nhân viên của WeCare phục vụ chăm chỉ, tận tâm và chu đáo. Trung tâm WeCare cung cấp dịch vụ tại vùng Hoa Thịnh Đốn và Phụ Cận. Nếu quý vị cao niên đang nằm trong bệnh viện và muốn được nhân viên chăm sóc tại tư gia sau khi xuất viện, xin liên lạc WeCare trước khi xuất viện để được hướng dẫn thủ tục. Mọi chi tiết xin liên lạc với Quỳnh Châu số 703 879 3750. Nhà hàng Nha Trang nổi tiếng nem nướng Ninh Hòa, bánh canh cá, lẩu đồ biển, mì quảng, cơm tay cầm, bánh ướt thịt nướng, gỏi cuốn, bò lúc lắc, nước mía tơi, có lai xanh bia và nhiều món ngon đặc sản miền Nam. Mở cửa mỗi ngày từ thứ hai tới thứ sáu từ 10 giờ 30 sáng đến 9 giờ tối và thứ bảy và chủ nhật từ 10 giờ sáng tới 9 giờ tối có nhận credit card tọa lạc tại Eden Center, địa chỉ 6757 Wilson Boulevard, Fort George, Virginia 22044, điện thoại liên lạc 703 534 1657.